For this Poco Z installation, you will need the following. Phillips screwdriver, wrench, plier, hammer, drop and anchor setting tool, razor blade, tape measure, lever, multimeter, electric screwdriver, hammer drill, electric lifter. Contents inside the box include the Procozy installation stencil, a 2 meter or 6 foot 3 inch PE tubing, accessories box, four sets of 3 8 inch stainless steel threaded rods, drop in anchors, and mating flame nuts, as well as the Procozy unit. The contents of this accessories box differ depending on the model. In the LR series, there are hangers, screws, and 4x6, power cord, remote. In addition to the previously mentioned accessories, the SIR series also have additional duct connectors. Screws for the duct connectors, M4x8, and 4x8, and infrared receiver. For the exact quantity of your accessories, please refer to the third page of the installation guide. When installing the Procozy SIR series, you will need to prepare your own 8 inch aluminum flexible ducting pipe, no longer than 2 meters or 6 feet long, as well as fasteners. Please do not use flexible air duct made out of PVC. You will also prepare your own return supply register and grill. For the LIR series, you will need to prepare your own downward opening ceiling tile and grill. Additionally, you will need to prepare a bucket and submersible water pump later for drainage test. Please use the appropriate submersible pump depending on the ceiling height. A pump of 75 watts is recommended. Please read the installation guide carefully prior to installation. Minimum ceiling clearance, 320 millimeters, without obstruction. Access panel should be directly under the unit. The predetermined dimensions are as follows. A reserved extra length of 2 meters of wiring is suggested. It is recommended that the electrical work be wired close to the access panel. The power outlet should be set up within 1.5 meters from the unit. Install dedicated earth leakage circuit breaker and ensure that the outlet complies with local standards. Place the Procozy installation stencil flat on the ceiling. Make sure there would be no obstructions around the unit and that the direction which the filter will be removed is also free from obstruction. With the 12.7 mm concrete drill bit, drill four holes in the locations marked in the installation stencil using a hammer drill. You can now set the 3 8 inch drop-in anchors into the drilled holes. Install one end of the 3 8 inch stainless steel threaded rod into the drop-in anchor. Install two flame nuts with the flanks facing each other on the other end of the threaded rods to act as support and security for the Procozy hangers. Repeat this step for all four threaded rods. Raise the Procozy unit to the ceiling with the hangers already fastened. Place the hangers in between the flame nuts of the 3 8 inch stainless steel threaded rods and adjust with the lever before fastening the flame nuts. The setup for your Procozy unit is now complete. The distance between the return and supply register should be at least 2.5 meters or 8 feet. The return and supply ducts should be independent from the AC duct. The return register must be directly below the ceiling, so that the return air is from within the desired space and not from the space within the ceiling. Connect the flexible aluminum ducting pipe to the duct connector and make sure that the connecting point is secure to avoid any air leakage. Use the 8 inch flexible aluminum ducting pipe to connect the Procozy unit to the return and supply registers. Now attach the registers to the respective grill and diffuser. The air duct installation is now complete. Fill a bucket with 2 liters of water and place the submersible pump in the bucket. Now connect the drainage tubing into the Procozy easy fitting. Please make sure that the correct PE 3 8 inch tubing for RO systems is used. Remove the red locking clip before inserting the 3 8 inch tubing. The tubing is properly installed when the tubing is pushed all the way into the easy fitting, approximately 2 cm deep. To ensure that the tubing is secured, place the red locking clip back into the easy fitting. After the pump is connected to your Procozy unit, you may now turn on the pump. After completely filling your Procozy unit, please turn off the pump and remove the tubing from the unit. 
Using a razor blade, cut the 3 8 inch PE tubing so that it is flushed when inserted into the easy fitting. Remove the red locking clip before inserting the 3 8 inch tubing. The tubing is properly installed when the tubing is pushed all the way into the easy fitting before putting the red locking clip back in place. Lastly, place the other end of the PE tubing into the desired drainage outlet or connect it to the plumbing reserved for drainage. When connecting the 3 8 inch PE tubing into the previously reserved drainage, it is advised that the T-joint be used. Please ensure that the 3 8 inch tubing is completely inserted into the drainage and that the connection caught with silicone to prevent leakage from the loosening of the tubing. The connector has directionality. Please connect it correctly to the unit's external port. Determine the installation position and use double-sided tape or screws upon on-site evaluation to secure the infrared receiver to the ceiling. After switching on the circuit breaker, turn on the rocker switch while holding onto the test button for at least 5 seconds to start operational test. The flashing white light indicates that the unit is in operation test mode. Starting up or changing operating modes may take up to 5 minutes. You will hear the sound of the water pump from the water tank during the test mode. Please check for any water leakage when you hear this sound. The flashing green light indicates that the result of the operational test is normal. In this case, turn the rocker switch off and then back on to complete installation. After installation of battery, aim the remote control at the infrared receiver. You will hear a beeping sound when the unit receives a signal. If you do not hear the beeping sound, point at the infrared receiver and press any button on the remote control again. Different color LEDs will be displayed with respect to their operation mode. Automatic mode displays a green light. Manual mode will show a yellow light. Purple light indicates you are in air purification mode. Lastly, a turned off LED means your unit is off. Install an ethernet cable into the electrical box and secure the electrical box. The other end of the cable should be connected to the unit. Remove the wall panel mount and secure the mount into the electrical box with screws. Then connect the ethernet cable into the wall panel. Before attaching the wall panel onto the wall panel mount. After powering on, make sure that all the buttons light up. Your Pocosi unit is now ready to be used.